Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at Starfire where the Sounders prepare to face the Houston Dynamo in the final game of the regular season. They'll do so without leading scorer over the last two years, Freddy Montero, who's out with the yellow card suspension. Quiero ayudar al equipo, siempre quiero estar presente en los 11 titulares y bueno, me toca esperar una semana más para, para iniciar los playoffs con, con las baterías recargadas. While Montero is out of the lineup, Seattle certainly has some ammunition coming off the bench to play alongside Blaise Kufo. Nate Jaqua and Mike Facito have played a large chunk of minutes outside of MLS play and have combined for 10 goals on the year, including three in the last three games. We work hard, we work off each other, we complement each other pretty well, and you know he knows my strengths um, and I know his, and you know we try to work off of those. And you know we've been pretty successful. Last night was was not the best game overall, but. You know, it was good to to get more time with him and you know get more comfortable playing together. It wasn't their their necessarily their best games? They'll be the first ones to tell you that. Uh, but certainly, I think we have good options. Nate's a good option. Facito's a good option. Uh, you know, which way I'm going to go right now, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know, it might be a situation where they each get some playing time since both of them played, you know, close to 90 minutes last night. So, so we'll just have to see. We'll make that decision as we get closer to game time. In Jake West, Seattle has a sizable strike partner for Kufo, a combination that could be beneficial playing against a physical Houston team on a smaller field at Robertson Stadium. Jaqua also has experience there after spending parts of two seasons with the Dynamo. You know, obviously, Jaqua used to play for the club, so I think he's highly motivated to go there and play. Uh, you know, so from that standpoint, he maybe has a little bit of an edge, but also, uh, you know, it's a field that's you know a little bit smaller, uh, say than our surface. Uh, you know, I mean, the atmosphere there is good, but uh, you know, you always want to play when you get a chance to go against your ex-club. I, mean, I think it's important to have big, big guys up front to hold that ball, especially on, especially on that pitch. If you're not able to hold that first one and knock it down to the midfields. Um, it's hard to really get anything going. So, um, I mean, I, I hope to be in there, but we'll see what happens. And, um, yeah, definitely think if um, it is me and Blaze, then it's something where we can look to combine and look to have some success. What Facito may lack in height, he makes up for with grit, determination, and a heat-seeking shot that has no choice but to find the back of the net. He's looking to take advantage of the opportunity for some more playing time. I think it's unfortunate Freddie got that yellow, um, but... You know, Nate and I, I think we've been doing well together. So, you know, if one of us gets the opportunity, you know, I'm confident in neither one of us to step on and, you know, perform. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock from Robertson Stadium in Houston, Texas. Sounders versus Houston Dynamo. You can watch the game live on King as well as on the radio on 97.3 Cairo FM. Arlo White on the call. We'll see you down there in Houston. I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com. Casey, what are you doing out here, buddy? Practice is over. I'm just grabbing some rays so I don't burn when we take that sweet Mexican Riviera cruise in January. Oh, you're right, man. I can't wait to hang out with the fans. Check out Cabo, Mazatlan, and do some cool Holland America excursion. Exactly. So grab a chair, grab some rays with me. Towels up, Sounders fans. Towels up.